The DJI convertible bag that comes with the Mavic 3 Premium and Cine combos is one of the best carrying solutions that you will ever see come with a drone. It is truly the best soft carrying case that I have seen in the past five years of flying drones. Now the one negative, however, is that it is still a soft bag. The hard-sided Mavic 3 carrying case from PGY Tech is worth taking a look at if you prefer a more secure storage solution for your Mavic 3 that has shock, moisture, and impact protection. So let's check it out. Hi everyone, my name is Russ and welcome to 51 Drones. Now, if you have visited my channel before, you are most likely aware that I love hard-sided cases to not only transport and store my drones. In particular, my brand of choice for the past two years has been the Nanook cases. They are built to last forever. The one downside to them, however, is that they tend to be pretty expensive. This hard-sided case from PGY Tech is as close as what I have seen in the build quality. And for the equivalent version of the Mavic 3 case from Nanook, this one here is almost $100 less, and that is a crazy low price, concerning what you get in this case. So when it comes to build quality on a drone case, I look at four basic things. Number one, I want the latches to be double locking, so there's no chance of them popping open accidentally if it's dropped or it falls from a high space. Secondly, I want the ability to store more than just the basics inside, so I like having just a little bit of extra space. Thirdly, I want a robust plastic that's obviously crush resistant. And finally, I prefer the hinge or the hinges to be stainless steel because I know they're gonna last forever. The PGY Tech case for the Mavic 3 checks all four of those boxes for me. So first of all, the latches are double locking and they are quite beefy. I think this is becoming the standard nowadays in storage solutions. The latches these days on most cases are so thick. Like I think Nanook started the trend with that, but they are very, very good and they lock in place really tight. I would be very confident if this case were dropped from any sort of height that they would stay securely latched. Secondly, this case has a two hinge design and it does have stainless steel rods. This means that there's gonna be no rust corrosion over the life of the case, and there's less chance of them bending with repeated use. The case weighs 2.69 kilograms, or just under six pounds, and it measures 16.14 by 13 by 6.5 inches. The plastic is very sturdy with virtually no give when I press on it. It is right on par with the thickness of the Nanook cases. The handle is also quite beefy and it provides a comfortable grip. It has one of those rubber um, inserts on the inside, so it's comfortable to hold on for a long time. So taking a look at the inside of the case and looking at the cutouts, you can see that there is a precision cut placement for the Mavic 3 drone, but you should know that in order for it to sit in here securely, you need to have on that Hannibal Lecter hood strapped on. It does work without it, it goes in there, but it does kind of flop around a little bit unless you have that harness on it. It does have four slots for extra batteries. So with one in the drone, you're looking at a potential three hours of uninterrupted flight time. There's also a slot for the DJI ND filter pack. And there's also a slot for both filter packs if you have the Cine or the premium combo. But this slot also fits the PGY Tech filters, which are really, really nice. Um, I do have those, PGY Tech sent me those as well. So subscribe so you don't miss the review on those. And that video is gonna be coming here real soon. Now it has an extra spot right here for anything that you can fit into there. And right here is where you have the cutout for either the new DJI smart controller or when stored vertically, it stores the regular controller in there and it does stay put. There's no need to remove the control sticks, which is really nice because this lid is extra deep and it has a very thick layer of eggshell foam. Now my favorite part about this and many other cases that you see these days is the extra deep storage that they have underneath some of the components. Now this is where you can keep extra propellers, your cables, the charging hub, the plug-in and other cords and whatever you wanna store underneath there. So. This case has plenty of storage inside, which I love. I think that's kind of the standard now with cases. They're starting to put, they're starting to make them a little bit deeper. 
because people want that extra storage underneath. Now finally, the foam on this case, it's a lot more dense than many other professional cases like the Nanook cases and the GPC cases. Now some might find that to be a negative because you can never modify these cutouts. Some people like to maybe modify a little bit by cutting that foam, but you can't do that with this. But I look at this hard foam as a positive because it feels like my drone is more protected from any kind of impact should it occur. Now, just a couple of negatives about this case. It does have a very strong manufacturing odor when you first open it. So I do recommend letting it set open outside for a couple of days or in the garage or something like that. And it does dissipate after a couple of days. And then secondly, I just wish that they had put in a couple of dedicated slots for some micro SD cards. Like it's so convenient just to be able to grab those rather than dig them out from underneath something. So if they just could cut in here and put a couple of slots in there, but I know that's a minor thing, but it is nice to have those. So if you just got a Mavic 3 standard kit, which you don't get a, a case or a bag with, or you got the Flymore combo or the Cine combo, but you prefer a hard sided solution, then this safety case from PGY Tech is an option that I can highly recommend, especially for the price and how it compares to other professional brand cases out there right now. Now, PGY Tech sells a ton of camera and drone accessories, so I'll have a link to their website down below so you can check out everything that they have to offer. And I'll also put a link for this case down there uh, because seriously, you guys, when you compare this to the Nanook, like here's my Air 2S case, and they don't have the Mavic 3 case out yet for Nanook, they're still working on it, but that thing's gonna cost 220 US dollars, and this one's running $130, so it's $90 less than the Nanook case, and it has everything that the Nanook has. Like the only thing different is the, the claw latches, but this is pretty close to that. So, um, so this is one situation, this is one time that I actually would recommend this over the Nanook case. So hit the thumbs up if I was able to give you any information of value in this video today. I would love it if you join me on this drone journey. It's a great community we have built over the past five years and I think you would find lots of valuable information here. Also follow me on social media for bonus content that you won't see here on the channel. I wanna thank you for watching the entire video today. Have a wonderful day and as always fly safe and fly smart.